Merhaba, El Ağustos sayısında ünlü model Anna Beatrice ile birlikteyiz. Sizleri çok özel bir çekim ve çok özel bir röportaj bekliyor. So, you began modeling at a very early age. Yes. Do you think that you missed anything because of that? Do you regret anything? Uh, no regrets. I'm like so happy on my career. Whatever I accomplished is like incredible and it was my dream to be a model. And it's hard because you miss all like the good times of, you know, being young, you know, going to the park with your friends, going to the cinema, you know, like I miss a lot of important moments in my life, like happy birth, uh, like birthdays. My mom's birthday, like weddings, you know, friends' weddings, but it was all worth it, you know. I don't regret it one bit and I will do everything again. How do you compensate the uh, things that you miss? How do I... Like working? <laughs> working, you know, I love working. I consider myself like a workaholic. I love what I do and I love traveling, you know. It would be very hard for me not be doing what I do today, you know. You never get tired of traveling? No, I don't. I love traveling and I do sleep on the plane, you know. Sometimes I'm going to tell you a secret. Okay. I sleep better on the plane than in my own bed. How, <laughs> so, how come? It's just my life, you know. I'm used to it and I have to sleep. If I don't sleep, the next day I look tired and I don't look fresh for my shoot, you know. So I learned how to sleep and feel comfortable on the bed, in the, in the plane. <laughs> Okay, good to know. How did you realize that you become a supermodel? Um, when I first What shot changed? for Gas campaign, which Gas was really big at the time, was right after Claudia Schiffer, you know, like was doing, and uh, Valeria Mazza, this really big Argentinian model. So it was me and Alessandro Ambrosio, you know, one of my best friends. So that moment I was like, wow, I think I can create, I did, I, I mean, I'm where I want to be, I am where I want to be, you know. How did you feel about it? Incredible, amazing, victory, like I felt, I felt proud of myself, you know, that I accomplished, you know, like I've been, I tried so hard to be in there and I was like, wow, finally I'm here, you know, it was like an incredible feeling. I'll get, I guess you have many friends yes. uh, in the industry, but what about the competition? Yes, everybody think thinks. It's a hard competition. You know, like every business, you know, there's a competition, you know. I'm not going to say models, they don't have competition because I'll be lying. But I, I have a lot of good friends in this business and we stick together, you know. Like, we, we know how hard it is to be where we are and it's such a difficult job that we stick together and we help each other, you know. There is a competition, but depends, you know, of your circle of persons and who you hang out with, you know. So with me, I never had this problem, you know, I'm very like into my career, into myself, I don't look what people do with these models doing, the other models doing, so once you understand who you are and where you are, there is no competition, you know. Okay. You travel a lot, but where do you call home? Oh my god, that's a hard one. At the moment I have a place in Sao Paulo, New York and London. My boyfriend is based in London, so whatever he is, that's where my house is. Okay. Uh, you have an idea. Is it difficult to to have a girlfriend that is a supermodel um, and everybody admires? He's pretty good, I have to say. I had problems in my past with my ex-boyfriends, like they would be jealous of my job, you know, like they wouldn't like me to be in lingerie and like playing the sex role. But with this one, thanks God, which is the one, he's so low profile, chilled, he really wants me to do well, whatever I do, you know, so he wants me to succeed. And that's the most important thing for me, you know, he puts me up, you know. Good. Do you plan to marry anytime soon? No, anytime what you, soon. What do you dream of? What, what kind of a family do you want to? Have? I want three kids. I want a big family because I come from a big family. My mom has three kids. And uh, no, I don't have time now to plan a wedding or anything, but I want to marry the guy I'm with. And my dream is to have a family, you know, it's just because now I accomplish, I, I accomplish myself and my job. So now I want to build my own family, but not yet, you know, because I'm still working a lot. I don't have time and I'm one of those persons that when I'm a mother, I'm going to be with my kids, you know, I'm not going to be like living with the babysitter. That's the way I was raised and that's the way I want to raise my kids. You know? What about now? How do you balance your uh, business life and your private life? How do you balance? Isn't it difficult? Very difficult, but we always find a way, you know, you like plan a lot. I, I try to plan, but every time I plan something, I got an important job, so... Okay. 
the only way to do it is to book out. There is a, a, a say, it's like booking out. So I call my agents and I say, please, I can't work in this week, you know. So they book me out, you know. So you, sometimes you have, you have to, to say no. Which one to choose. Yes, of course. And sometimes you have to say no to jobs also, which I hate. But like you said, I need to have my private life also, you know. Otherwise, I'm going to be the age of like, I don't know, 50 and I'm going to be regretting my past. Really, I was working, working, working. How about myself, you know? So you have to learn how to balance, you know, your private life with, with work, you know, it's very important. Brazilian models are not shy about their bodies, so confident. What is the secret? I think that's the way we grow, grow up, the way we are raised, you know, we are raised to be free, to feel free, to feel good about them, ourselves, you know, like you go to the beach every day and, you know, it doesn't matter if you're tall, short, skinny, you know, it's just the way you are and we learn how to appreciate our, our own bodies, you know, I think that's the way the culture is, you know, we have carnival, we have soccer, so it's already like a very loose and open culture. I think that helps also. So you're born with the samba, you know, carnival, like every February, every year of your life, you know. So I think you learn how to like appreciate who you are and like like the way you are, you know. I think that's the difference between Brazilians and other women, you know. Like we're not ashamed, you know, of like being overweight or like having cellulite. We just like feel comfortable enjoying. the way we are. We're enjoying, yes, ourselves. So many people think that you're perfect. <laughs> What do you think about it? Uh, there's nobody is perfect. Doesn't exist perfection, in my opinion. You know, I think I do a good job. Uh, when I'm in front of the cameras, I'm not Anna Beatrice, the one I'm talking to right now. I am a character. You know, like I play whatever they want me to play. I play. You know. You saw it. Yes. yes. <laughs> So that's the way it is, you know, like in my real life, you know, even my boyfriend and my family, they laugh and they're like, really? <laughs> they call you sexy, you know, it's just because when I'm working, yes, I'm that person. When I'm outside the work, I'm like just a normal girl, you know, like everybody else, you know, like I don't look at myself and think I'm incredible, you know, and I think I'm pretty every day. I'm just normal, you know, I like normal things, you know, I'm down to earth. People think that modeling is so cool, so fancy, so fun. What about uh, the other part? Isn't it difficult or isn't it dangerous? Or yes. tell something to the maybe young models that just begin their career? It's a very hard, very, very hard job. First of all, you have access to everything at the age of 15. You know, you can go to any party you want. You meet a lot of important people. So that's the hard part. I think you gotta have a really strong background, you know, like your parents, they need to teach you, it's just a job, you know, once you learn it's a, a profession, it's a job, it's better, you know, like you don't, like it's glamorous, I'm not gonna say to you it's not glamorous, we get invited to the most glamorous parties in the world, but it's not about that, you know, sometimes I don't sleep, I'm jet lagged, they put shoes on my feet that's three sizes smaller, you know, sometimes we shoot on the snow, like minus 20 Cold. on a bikini, you know, like it's a hard job. But the worst part is, is all the no's that you receive. Out of a hundred castings that you go, you get 99 no's and maybe one yes. And maybe don't ever get a, a yes, you know. What do you feel when they say no? In the beginning it was very hard for me to separate why they don't like me, you know, like I'm a nice girl, I'm a nice person, what's wrong? But once you understand it's not about your personality, it's about everything, the way you look, it's just maybe you're not the right girl for that moment, you know? So the moment you understand that, it's just easy, you know? You just know that's the way the business is and that's the way it's gonna be, you know? But for young girls, it's very tough, you know? Sometimes they say you're overweight, sometimes they say you're too skinny, sometimes they say you're too tall, sometimes they say... So you have to understand it's not personal, it's business, you know? And they're looking at you as business, you know? You're a business, you know, that's it. You know? Once you get that, it makes everything easier. What is the best thing about being an Intimissimi girl? Oh my god. <laughs> Tell us. I love the brand. It's my second time that I'm an ambassador. It's incredible. I love the lingerie. I love it's comfortable, it's sensual. Sometimes it could be young, fresh. It's like an honor to be representing this huge brand, which is like so famous. And uh, I couldn't be, you know, representing a better brand than that. What do you wear when you want to look? sexy for example? Um, I like laces a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So when I want to look 
sexy to my boyfriend, you know, like I make an effort, you know, I do the whole thing, you know, <laughs> like the laces, the, the tights and everything, you know, I think it's important for a woman to understand that what's underneath your clothes is more important than what's you're actually wearing, you know, I think it's everybody should understand that you should have nice underwear, you know, it's not only about what you're wearing, like clothes, but what's about underneath, you know, I think people should take care, you know, sometimes you see ladies wearing like old underwear, it's just not attractive, not you know, idea. no, no, you always should like make yourself feel good and I think putting a nice underwear, a nice lingerie, that makes you like powerful, makes you strong, you know, more confident. confident, yes. Okay, what is on your wish list nowadays? Do, do you have a wish list? Um, things to do, maybe vacation or anything else? Wish, okay, I want to learn French. I don't speak okay. French, I want to do lessons. Why? Uh, because I love French, I love the language and I think it's so beautiful and it's something that I always wanted to learn, French. Okay. And um, I want to open my own clothing line in Brazil. It's on my to-do list. And be happy. That's all I want, you know, continue succeeding in my career. My family is incredible. I'm a very lucky girl. I have an amazing boyfriend and amazing friends, you know. I just wish to be happy and to be healthy and continue doing what I am you know, doing. How do you describe love? Love. Oh. What is love for you? Love is just like, it's hard to describe, but it's when, you know, like, Everything about that person makes you happy, you know, by looking at them you're happy and, and it has to be, be you know, has to be between two people, you know, like mutual. Yeah, cannot be only like one person, you know. And then it's when you take care of the person and you feel you think of the person all the time and like it's just an amazing when feeling. <laughs> when I miss the person, yeah, which I miss my boyfriend all the time. It's just an amazing feeling and it's hard to describe, so so it's still summer. What about vacation? Did you have your vacation or do you plan it? I am going to. What is your usual vacation? Vacation? Yes. I'm going to go to Mykonos this year. My boyfriend has a house there and all my friends are coming from New York and Brazil um, for 15 days. So that will be my vacation. What do you do on a vacation? What I swim a lot. Um, I eat a lot. I dance a lot, I love music, music is one of my biggest passions, you know, I love dancing and just enjoying the company of my friends and, you know, the people that I love, you know, that's a good vacation for me. What do you do on a regular date when you don't work? Tell us something about yourself when you're at home that we don't have any idea about. Um, that you like to do. I love taking care of my house, you know, I like, I'm a housewife, you know, I like, I like buying flowers, I really like making everything perfect. Change decoration or put... Change decoration, I'm, I'm really like into like living in a nice space with like a nice energy, you know. Also, I work out a lot, I do yoga, pilates, boxing, I ride horses since I'm six, it's one of my biggest passions in the, like in life. And uh, just then I go to the cinema, dinners, you know, hang out with my friends, you know, and soon my French lessons, if I have time, will be one of them. Do you cook? No, another, oh, I forgot, to-do list. I need to learn how to cook. It's something I want to do it, you know, I'm tired of eating delivery and all these things. Hmm. So it's another to-do one. You don't want to order anymore, you no, want to cook? No, I want to cook. You want to do something about it? Yes, I want to go to lessons and, you know, I want to learn how to cook. My mom is an amazing cooker and my grandma does, but they, they didn't teach us, me and my sisters. They don't have the time and opportunity, I guess. No, they just didn't want to teach us. And every day I ask my mother, why you didn't teach me? You know, that's the only thing my mother... What does she say? She's like, oh, I didn't want it to be like, you know, a housewife, I wanted to like you know, succeed and be like self-made and mm. so that's why I didn't teach you. I'm like, that's the only bad, you know, big mistake you made. Everything else, my mom is the most wonderful woman in the world. Tell us a beauty trip that we can all apply easily. A beauty trip? Something. Um, Easy to do? I wear sunscreen every day. I don't leave my house without sunscreen. Doesn't matter if it's sunny, if it's raining. If it is winter or summer? Summer, every day, you know, like this, it prevents wrinkles, so. Okay, good to know. Uh, what, what do you foresee for your life in maybe 10 years? 10 years, I want to have my own family. I want to have three kids, <laughs> maybe. I don't know, I'll try. 
I want to be with married, you know, with my husband and open my own clothing line. And I want to still modeling, you know. I love what I do. I don't want to stop, you know. And those days, you know, you can work for so many years, you know. You see Naomi, Kate Moss, we're all working still. So I want to continue what I do, you know. Where do you plan to settle when you are married and have children? London. London, London is going to be my, my base, yes. Okay. Do you have any message for the L readers that love you so much? I would like to say to everybody that's watching this tape that I love Turkey, I love El, I'm so honored to be here today and I hope you guys enjoy our work today. Mm. The last one. You have lots of followers on Instagram. Do you have a favorite filter that you use a lot? Uh, Valencia is my favorite. Mine too. <laughs> yes, it's yes. the best one. Everything looks good, right? So Valencia. <laughs> Valencia. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.